Hello, welcome back. Today's video is for an Aries viewer. We are going deeper into the... Uh, I just uploaded a mermaid reading for an Aries. And she has asked me to go deeper. And uh, I've... We're going to use the map cards this time. So let's get them shuffled. If you are new to the channel, first time viewers, welcome. I'm Grandma Gaines. I am a reselling grandma on multiple platforms. And I love cards. <laughs> so I will leave all the links to my selling platforms in the description box below if you're interested in that. And an email, um, if you are interest, if you're interested in that, or you would like a card reading or anything, we do daily Monday through Friday workouts as well. So yeah, send me an email. I would love to do a reading for you. So let's shuffle these cards up, and I'm gonna think about my Aries viewer friend Jennifer, who has asked me to dig deeper into the meaning of the first reading. So again, I'm going to use a seven card spread. And uh, thinking about my viewer friend. And when it feels, when you feel that magical tingle in your hands is when it's ready. All right. So again, seven cards, I'm going to lay them out and we will go over them one by one in depth. Four, five, six, and seven. Now, card in position one. This card represents the energy currently around you, my friend. Mountain. Let's dig deeper. The quick meaning for mountain, you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt. Sometimes you'll come, now I'm going to read you in depth. Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable object, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer, but why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers that flow around mountains naturally. I promise you'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is the time to adapt to your circumstances. If you do decide to climb, remember, take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. Card in position two, this card reveals this card reveals the underlying energy and this card may come as a surprise and it can reveal hidden qualities within your subconscious again this reveals the underlying energy Cl 
cleaning house and it is upside down. Let's look closer. The reversed cleaning house card says, why do you hold on to things that remind you of the past? Is your home cluttered with objects that bring up unhappy memories? Do you have a tendency to attract broken people who need to be fixed? If you're involved in this type of emotional project, stop right now and clean house. Being needed isn't going to get you what you really need. That said, even if you initially resist letting go of excess physical or emotional baggage, you'll feel amazing afterward. Let go and let the universe bring you something better. Make space. The universe doesn't like a vacuum and it will respond to your house cleaning by filling your home with what? will best serve you. Card in position three. Oops, going the wrong way. Card in position three. Shows any influences that are coming into the situation. So thinking about what's going on around you. Again, this shows any influences that are coming into your situation. And it's going to be a good indica indication of what you are going to have to deal with. Coming to life. Let's get closer. My friend, there is a lot of information just in the artwork itself. So coming to life, something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least, matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. My friend, all you have to do is show up. I hope that makes sense. Only you know what that means. Card in position four brings any potential obstacles to your awareness. Let's look at that one. balancing act. Again, card in position four brings any potential obstacles to your awareness. This isn't necessarily a negative card as obstacles can sometimes be fun things that delay you for good reasons. So balancing act. 
you are calm within no matter the fluctuations of outer conditions. The upright meaning for the balancing act. There are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. And again, please, the pictures, the cards, the artwork tells huge stories. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. card in position five gives an overview from a spiritual perspective and it often reflects on the card in position two let's get closer well first let's flip it over deep freeze everything has its season now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things. Uh, maybe you're doing a project and it's just you're just not quite ready yet. And again, the cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego any amb ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being not going anywhere truthfully not needing to sorry hold on there we go this is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now. So reflect, read a good book, go get a massage. My friend, rest and dream. Card in position six. This card offers a course of action or it shows the energy of the type of action that would benefit you most in relation to your current situation. Wizard of Awareness reversed. Let's look closer. He says, your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Let me fix that. The wizard of awareness comes to you in this position to warn you that too much force behind a desire for a specific outcome robs you of a true and full experience. Step back, take your energy away from your situation and focus on gratitude for the ever-changing conditions of life. 
Are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your highest good? Meditate. Be still. And your answers will come without any effort on your part. Be a neutral observer and you'll see how this moment is but a small marker on the map of your life's journey. Card in position seven. This card presents a possible future outcome. Compass reversed. Let's dig deeper. And again, card in position seven presents a possible future outcome in relation to the energies of, the, of your current situation. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. The compass reversed says, what is your highest power right now? Whatever you constantly focused on Whatever it is you're constantly focused on, long enough becomes your higher, your higher power. I really stumbled over that, my friend. Let me repeat it. Whatever you constantly focus on long enough becomes your higher power. If you worry about financial insecurities, materialism is your idol. If you obsess over a relationship, that is your God. If you're concerned about your weight or your looks or your status, you've lost your personal power and your way. Nothing but spirit can be your guiding force. You'll never truly find what you seek if these worries and distractions are your constant focus. Surrender and shift your compass. Be still and watch as the needle points to true north. Align yourself and you'll easily find your way back to where you're meant to be. My friend, I hope this helps. Um, and again, if if you need, if you want more, I will be happy to help you. As you, as you guys all know, all of these readings are free and fun. If you don't know now, you do know now. All of my readings are free. I charge. I do not charge you guys for these. Um, so yes, please send me a comment leave me an email. I check my email daily and I will always get back to you. So my dear, dear Aries friend, Jennifer, let me know if I can be of any more help to you. And um, I hope you guys have the best day ever. Again, if you like this type of content, please give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you in the family. And check out my membership levels. Coffee Club, Wildflower, and Bohippian Life. Every level offers something different. The highest level, um, you automatically get a reading a month. So, yeah, check them out, you guys. Again, I hope you have the best day ever. And I'll see you in the next video.